it has pleased His Majesty King Albert II in recognition for services rendered to confer by royal decree of 17 October 2011 the decoration of Commander of the Order of the Crown upon Sir Steven Spielberg, American National Film Director. My congratulations. Tintin was born here, therefore there was no other country or city in the world that we would ever have considered to show Tintin for the first time. Absolutely thrilled and honored that we're actually able to come here to the birthplace of Tintin to debut Tintin for the first time anywhere in the world. This is a great honor for us to bring, to bring Tintin home. I discovered Tintin in my 30s, but I became a kid all over again when I started reading all of the books. And, um, and I, I became very, uh, I became an instant fan. I mean, a really an instant fan. My first feeling was, where have these books been all my life? And unfortunately, these books never came to America. There was no publishing effort to bring this book across the Atlantic to, to the States. I couldn't find any Americans who had read the Tintin books. <laughs> well, no, yes, I wanted fans to write this. I wanted Urge Tintin fans to write the Tintin movie. I didn't want this written just by American screenwriters who had to familiarize themselves with Tintin almost overnight. I wanted, I, I wanted screenwriters who were raised on Tintin. Tintin is, is a character for me as a young boy who I could go on all these adventures with him from the safety of my bedroom. Um, I, I wanted to be him. He was everything I wanted to be. He was heroic. He was courageous, he was intrepid, um, he traveled the world, you know. Um, so in terms of them playing him, and then I was also a massive fan of, of, of Steven Spielberg's as well, obviously. Um, so the, the, the culmination of both of those things on this one project was very, the synergy of that happening was very special for me. Thank you, Captain Steven. 